guys, it's your girl Eddie Elise and I'm back with another video. For those of you guys who are new here, I am a style concern, which is just a style expert and I post every single Saturday. So before we go anywhere, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do going forward. Okay? This video, I want to give a huge This video I want to give a huge shout out to Sky Drew and she my last video i mentioned to you guys comment down below if you guys wanted me to style a specific piece and she commented down below that she wanted me to style the green leather pants that i bought from pretty little thing in my last video so that's what we're gonna do today but i'm gonna give it a more informative outlook on this video it's not just gonna be a look book but i'm gonna sit down and explain to you my thought process on each and every outfit that i had so you guys could really get in tune with what's going on in here so that maybe you guys could try it and maybe this could help you out as well this could work with any single statement piece whether it's green red regular black or if you even have a shirt that's um a statement piece like a really bright color something but this is my thought process on styling a statement piece because green is a statement piece okay let's just get right into it Alrighty. so to start off with we're gonna just start off with a classic crop top tank black with some black classic vans this is for my supporters in the more warmer climates and this just states that listen you can keep it super cute and super simple if you're not really a layering person or a detail oriented person it is still possible to have a fire fit and look super cute and be super simple that is okay Alrighty, so, but you guys know me, I don't really like super simple things, I love to layer, I am in New York City where it is a little bit more chilly, so um, I decided to take this brown flannel jacket that I had and pop it over, and that could be a look in itself, you could literally go out like that, or to give it a little bit more spice, you guys know I love the button up look. And then you guys know I do this thing where I tuck it into the side. So if you don't button it all the way down, you button it up until where the pants start. And then you just tuck in one side. It gives it more of a, a like oversized. Sometimes you can get lost and drown in oversized. But this tucking one side in makes you really see your curve. So that's what I like to do as well. And then I just decided to swap out the van since you can't really see the black anymore and the vans look out of place. I decided to swap it out with my analog Yeezys, which is like an off-white cream type of color that goes along with the flannel jacket. And um, that puts the outfit together. Also, you guys know I love accessories. I love accessories. I love accessories. I did add this bag this bag is super cute i got this bag from top shop again guys the pants are from pretty little thing but i got this bag from top shop and it just goes with all the colors and i just like it adding a bag to your outfit definitely upgrades your outfit just a little bit and these are little things that you can do whether you're wearing whatever just to boop, give your outfit a little extra touch Alrighty, so next I have a monochromatic look, and you guys know I love me a monochromatic look. This jumper I bought at Motel Rocks, and again, I'll have it in the description for you guys to purchase. But I love monochromatic looks, and if you guys don't know what monochromatic look or monochromatic is, it's basically just dressing head to toe in one specific color. So, I love this. You could just go out in it like that. I would do it. What I like to do with my outfits is I love to add shades. Adding shades, adding accessories like bags, shades, those are my two go-to accessories. Um, it upgrades your look. It makes it look a little bit more richer. It makes it look, and by richer I don't mean money, but I mean like quality-wise. Um, it makes it just look a little bit more spicy, okay? So I love these glasses. These glasses are from 50 Shades. Again, they'll be down in the description link. But for those of you guys who want to take it up even more, like I do, for those of you guys who are extra, like me, extra, extra, read all about it, um, I decided to take my scarf, and I bought the scarf at Aldo a year ago. Actually, my boyfriend bought it for me. But it is a red plaid on one side and black and white on the other. And I did this because green and red is a complementary color. Guys, you guys don't always have to be matchy-matchy. But just make sure your colors go. When in doubt, Google complementary colors, okay? 
if you are wearing orange a all orange look or all blue look a complementary color to orange is blue so throw on something blue get a blue bag or something like that so you when in doubt go to complementary colors you guys don't always have to be matchy matchy to the t but you guys can play with colors playing with colors definitely enhances your outfit just a little bit okay so next for those of you guys who are like me and love the over oversized graphic tee I do that in this look and again I do my little signature outfit low hack which is tucking one side in to the to the pant and then leaving the other side out I like to do this because sometimes oversized like I mentioned before could you could drown in oversized so just tucking in one side actually makes it more appealing and show a little bit of body honey and then as you guys know I love to layer 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 so I decided to get this cardigan. I bought this cardigan from Walmart and just layer it over just for a really relaxed look. Like if I was going to go out grocery shopping or whatever the case may be, I do that. Alrighty. All right. So anyways, so those are my ways to style a statement piece. And this is my thought process on actually coming about these outfits and what I would do, what's my thought process before I go out, how I put my outfits together and stuff like that. I really, guys, I really hope that you learn from this and, you know, again, these outfits, you don't have to mimic them exactly to the T, but you can do your own thing. If you want to wear heels with this, if you want to make it a little bit sporty, you guys know I'm not really into the whole heel scenario but I am a really big sneaker person so if you guys wanted to flip it and put black heels clear heels play with it all I, all I want you guys to get from this video is one basic you can still be basic and look cute girl it is not that serious you do not always have to be extra two layering 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 makes your outfit look bomb three accessorizing 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 is just taking those simple outfits and moving them to the next level by layering accessorizing and also playing with the complementary colors okay so those are three main hacks to styling a statement piece play with your complementary colors if your piece is green go for a pink go for a red um if your piece is blue go for an orange bag go for an orange eyeshadow something um you know what I'm saying? Layering, layering, layering. If you have um, an oversized jean jacket, wear the oversized jean jacket or a bubble. Or, you know, just layer, girl. And then accessorizing. Glasses, bags, glasses. I love glasses. I get all my glasses from Fifty Shades. Glasses is a really good upgrade to your wardrobe, to your outfits. Bags, I love bags. Bags is another upgrade to your wardrobe. Just having a cute little bag to go with your outfit, to match your outfit. It just makes it look a little spicy, like I said. Um, so those are the three main things that I do when I'm styling a statement piece. And again, you can mix all three and make this wow factor, okay? Alrighty guys, so again, I hope, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different. Again, comment down below if I should do more videos like this, explaining my thought processes on these lookbooks instead of just giving guys the lookbooks. Let me know down in the comments, guys. It's extremely important for me to get feedback, whether it's good feedback, whether it's, hey, I think you should have did this, whatever. I really don't care. I love all the feedback, so I know for my next video. Again, thank you, Sky Drew, for giving me this idea and for actually cooperating with me and actually telling me what you guys want to see so yeah tell me what you want to see guys in the comments below i'll pick it and again i'll shout you guys out all right peace